Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Peart, marine scientist and host of the Salty Science Podcast, and welcome to a special Salty Science presentation on salinity. So what is salinity? A quick definition is the level of saltiness, but to be more precise, it's the concentration or amount of dissolved salt in a body of water. So how do we measure salinity? There are several methods for measuring salinity, and scientists will choose the method and equipment based on their research needs. But the most common method is to use a sensor that measures the electrical conductivity of the water. Because the saltier the water, the better it gets at conducting electricity. But in terms of visualization, you can still think of salinity as the amount of salt in grams dissolved in a kilogram or liter of water. So what are the units? So one of the big questions in marine science when it comes to salinity is, what units do we use? Historically, we've said parts per thousand, referencing the percentage of the salt in the water. And then you may have heard units such as practical salinity units or practical salinity scale, or you may have seen no units at all. Well, this is mostly because scientists are still developing better and better methods and equations to calculate salinity. But for the most part, because salinity is calculated as a ratio, for now you can just drop the units altogether and just say a number. So what controls salinity? There are many different factors that control salinity, but the main controllers are evaporation, precipitation, river runoffs, and the formation and melting of sea ice. As you can imagine, Salinity will vary from location to location. That is, it can be higher or lower depending on where you are. But for the most part, the average salinity of the global ocean is 35. And here are some terms that we use in reference to different salinity values. For higher salinities, meaning those higher than the average salinity of the ocean, we use terms like brine, hypersaline, hyperhaline, and metahaline. And a term that we use when referencing the average ocean salinity range, we'll just say euhaline. And finally, for the lower than average salinities, we'll use terms like brackish, polyhaline, mesohaline, and oligohaline. So salinity is a super important concept to know about because not only does it impact all the different physical, chemical, and biological processes in the ocean, but it can also impact other sensors and equipment that we're using. Like in my research, I need to know the salinity so that I can determine dissolved oxygen concentrations. Well, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. And for more information and more marine science fun, listen to the Salty Science Podcast today.